in, in its uh, native form. So let me share my, my screen. Now. So essentially, um, when we are talking about RAR free router, we are talking about two things. We have the RAR project and we have the free router project. And uh, if you allow me a, a comparison, we, we have the, the GNU uh, project and the Linux project. And uh, the idea is that the, the, the GNU, the GNU uh, project has um, adopted the Linux kernel project. The Linux kernel has the, has the kernel for the operating system. And in the, in the, um, in the context of uh, RAR free router, you can think that it is uh, the, the, the same uh, philosophy. Which means, which means that RAR is, uh, is more of a platform and free router is really the, the control plane that is used uh, into the RAR project. By the way, if you have any question, uh, feel free to, uh, to interrupt me. Uh, we are here just, uh, again, it's an informal discussion and informal session. So the idea is uh, is that we we interact. We we you can ask questions. This is a really one hour, uh, I would say, dedicated to uh, to that uh, for the user. So we have two type of um, of um, knowledge uh, knowledge we can share. We have the uh, free route to the free um, the knowledge related to how to use free router, and the knowledge on how to develop free router. For now, we can. Um, we can uh, we can independently independently talk about uh, uh, um, using RAR as um, using RAR only, or we can also, uh, with the help of uh, Xaba here, the lead developer of the control plane, we can go into the, the code and see how things are working. But but I would say that for today, the idea is to to make that thing scary for you and uh, really. To to to, uh, to mention how uh, free router is um, is all about. So uh, essentially, the, the the first thing you 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 will have to uh, to really know, uh, at least if you really want to dive into the the, the subject, uh, this uh, this URL free free will be your uh, I would say uh, reference website. It's like python.org or or um, uh, I would say docker.org, uh, uh, .com, sorry. But the, the, the real idea is that the control plane has a, can be found on this website. The second, uh, the second link that you, you can use is um, this, uh, this URL. This is the docs.freerouter.net. This is basically the, the documentation of the control plane in, uh, I would say, um, in a more comprehensive form. Technically, um, uh, you will discover that FreeRata has a, a lot of features, that, but, that, uh, but the, the, the thing is that we, there is not that much documentation as uh, you can find, uh, find in, uh, Cisco, uh, in Cisco or Juniper uh, uh, material, material website. Uh, however, you will see that uh, pretty much everything is uh, is intuitive, and uh, the good news is that um, I would say that uh, one hour is not enough to to simply just uh, review all the features. List. So the, the so this is a great news because um, you will discover that uh, uh, free router really deserve the, the the nickname of Swiss networking Swiss Army knife, and you you will you will see uh, that. Uh, uh, in in um, in a subsequent uh, uh, discussion. So this is the comprehensive documentation where you for now we, you have everything ready to 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 to, to kickstart your your first contact with a free router. And we have uh, the the rare uh, uh, project page where actually uh, we are explaining how to use. Uh, the RAR, uh, the free router control plane and connect it to various data plane. So uh, I presume that you are all familiar with um, the uh, router uh, structure actually, but uh, 
you can divide this in three components. The first component is the control plane. The second component is the data plane. And in the middle, you need this interface, which is um, for me another an additional component. This is the glue between the control plane and the data plane. And what is um, really important to, uh, to, to, to understand that is that the control plane is responsible to, uh, to compute all uh, the, um, uh, the, the network uh, reachability information from uh, network A to network B. But actually, in the end, uh, the packet will follow uh, a very narrow uh, and limited uh, subset of paths because the egress, um, when, you're the, when the router will receive a packet, it will, it will, it will, um, it will, the, the router will have to, to choose an egress point, and the egress point is limited uh, to the number of interfaces that the router uh, uh, has. So even if you have thousands of routes in your control plane, or 1 million routes, the, in, the full routing internet uh, in, in, the, in the control plane uh, memory, you will, the egress point will be simply one of the ports uh, of the router. Of course, if you, uh, you want to apply a split horizon uh, uh, rules, you will never uh, send back send the packet back to the packet uh, um, to the port that uh, where where you could uh, find the incoming packet that being said um, the the role to forward this packet the, to the, the role to forward a packet that is that is going inside the, the router inside the system and that is egressing the system this, uh, this, uh, the role of forwarding the packet to the right egress port is, is the role of the data plane. And this is why, um, this is why uh, the, the, you, you can do a different a differentiation here uh, be, between various data plane. The control plane will be the same. But the data plane will be different, and this is uh, what, is, what, what this is the value proposal of the uh, the RAR platform. The RAR platform will be um, uh, will uh, in the form of the RAR the RAR project. We 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 have um, I would say developed uh, uh, various uh, data plane, and the common uh, denominator of this is that they have the same control plane. You might say what is different between the data planes is that each data plane is able to uh, to forward pack, packet to forward traffic at a very very different rate. So when we are talking about uh, native uh, software data plane, um, you will you will be uh, uh, able to forward packet with with uh, at uh, 100 meg or one gig it depends on the, the, the capacity of the, the, the network driver, the network car driver. But uh, if you want to improve this situation, what you can do is to, uh, con uh, to connect free router to uh, and activate it against the DPDK data plane. And then you will be able to, uh, to reach uh, more, uh, more uh, throughput with that, uh, with, that, uh, with that system. And the 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 throughput here will be dependent on the of course of the GPGK uh, network uh, library software that uh, the the vendor can 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 provide, and in in a sense that you with with this type of with GPGK uh, data plan you can easily run several several interface at ten gig, and a couple and maybe it de also again it depends on the drive network uh, the the vendor driver. Of the NIC, you can uh, reach a couple of 100 gig, but this again, this is still um, a work in progress. If you want to reach uh, the terabits per second uh, uh, capacity uh, for, uh, forwarding capacity, what you can do is to uh, connect the same control plane free router to a P4 data plane, which uh, which is uh, based, for example, if you to, uh, if you will take uh, if we consider the the, the, uh, uh, the programmable Ethernet switching ASIC called Tofino from Intel, this chip for now, the Tofino one, is able to uh, to uh, to switch packet at 3.2 terabits per second for the dual pipe uh, version, 
and it can also switch 6.4 uh, terabits per second of uh, of traffic uh, with the um, with the quad uh, pipe uh, Tofino version. So, and again, the beauty of that is that the all of this is possible using the same control plane, which is free router. So uh, just to, it was just to explain, I would say the, the basic uh, uh, difference between the, the RAR project and the free router. Free router is really uh, focusing on the uh, control plane, while the, the, the RAR project is the, the umbrella where uh, a lot of development of course, with the help of uh, Xaba, uh, and, and um, we, we, we had the, the possibility to, uh, to elaborate and think about uh, elaborate, uh, uh, deploying this, uh, creating this new uh, type of data plane. In this page, I will uh, give you, I will let you to read, uh, read this, but in this page, we have a blog link and the blog link is actually uh, some uh, some articles we, we started uh, during the, the very beginning uh, of the project. Some articles related to how to use free router, how to use it as a CP, uh, as your home router, as a BGP root reflector, and also how to to uh, to activate specific feature. Again, this is uh, in the form of blog. Uh, so so uh, this is really, um, I would say, informal, uh, and uh, this is. This can be uh, considered as a, a bit of um, like a small documentation, but uh, this is not the, 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 the idea of the, the, the blog here. For example, in, the, in this one, uh, we, if you imagine you have a free router at home or if, and that you want to enable a, a wire guard tunnel between your free router and any, uh, any um, wire guard capable system, what you can do is that you can just uh, establish uh, this channel using this, uh, this, uh, this blog article. You will see that it's, um, it's quite surprisingly, it's really uh, quite easy and quite intuitive. Of course, uh, documentation is a, a little bit like, la, la, uh, lacking the, uh, at the present time, but this is, uh, we are working on it and this is, um, also, one of the reasons why it is preferable to um, uh, to have uh, this uh, first uh, uh, VC session with um, in a I would say uh, community uh, VC. So let's go back to the uh, the free uh, router control plane website, and uh, there, there are some um, there is a, a very interesting. Uh, a definition from uh, Xaba, uh, who is the, the lead developer of FreeRouter, is uh, in the call, of course. Um, he says that FreeRouter is a free and open source uh, router OS process. This first, uh, this first sentence is quite um, important in the sense that, of course, it's open source, so you can download it, read the code, and so on. This is great, but mostly, um, uh, the, the, the process is a router. You, you will discover uh, with, uh, with, um, during your journey that um, a free router can also behave as a, as a switch, but mostly it will, uh, it will, uh, it, it's, it's really more powerful as a, as a service provider router. Of course. Um, uh, and I'm not saying that it's a, uh, the, uh, you can't use it in a data center uh, or, uh, or using as an internet exchange point, but uh, the, the real, you will see that the real key strengths of, uh, of, um, <coughs> of, the, of the free router is really um, uh, or a service provider oriented. And then you have a, a router OS process. process. <coughs> so what does it mean? It means simply that um, Free router is running. Uh, it's, it has been written uh, on uh, using Java programming language, and is uh, essentially a user space uh, process. So you you can't you can run free router <coughs> without uh, super user privilege. 
So uh, this is one of the, 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 the key points uh, of, uh, of what, what had that is needed. The second, uh, the second uh, sentence is also interesting. It speaks routing protocol and re-encapsulate packets on interface. So uh, again, this is the main, it is a router though. So mostly a control plane with, that is able to digest and uh, to, act, to, end up to, to propose a wide a range of uh, protocol, if not all protocol you can find into the, um, the service provider world. We'll see that uh, a little bit later. But uh, one thing that is quite uh, here interesting is that it receives and sends packets through UDP socket. <coughs> so what does it mean? From one, uh, from, uh, from one, um, from the at one, uh, at the perspective of uh, of uh, Linux, you you run a program, a Java program that is listening on on specific socket. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty sure if you, if you don't understand uh, what is a socket, uh, uh, just please, uh, please raise your hand or feel free to, to ask. But the idea here is that a socket from, uh, is, a, is a pair of uh, IP and port, IP or IPv6 and port. And this is, uh, I would say, the, the, the first base of the of um, the first native uh, behavior uh, of free router in, in, in a sense that it's a process that re-encapsulate uh, that that is able to 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 speak routine protocol that is encapsulates packets on interface and this is done natively as a, uh, uh, using a UDP socket. So uh, why it's, uh, it's quite important? It's simply because um, we, we, with this uh, philosophy, you can run various uh, process that, so you can run a various router here on your laptop without having uh, the need to be a super user. So this is great. Uh, and uh, what I propose to you is to, uh, to start with this, uh, with this um, getting started page, uh, where we 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 where we are introducing um, the first I would say uh, uh, the, the first contact you will have uh, with free, with a free router, and if you are okay for today we will stick with this uh, hello free router uh, page on the getting started page, um, where you will basically just be able to uh, run uh, the, the, the free router process. And uh, I will let, after, after that, I will uh, give the floor to, uh, to, um, to Xaba who might be uh, able to provide more insight if, if needed. So um, if you look at it, we, we um, the first, I was saying that you, you have to, um, to install the, to install the main uh, free router dependency, which is uh, 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 the GRE, the Java uh, runtime environment. Here we are installing um, uh, the Java uh, headless uh, without the graphic user interface, uh, which is sufficient. Of course, uh, this is available on any uh, operating system having Java. So, Mostly, we are we, we will uh, take the example here of uh, of um, uh, Debian uh, Buster, but uh, you can run virtually a free router uh, in any operating system that has a, a Java runtime environment, and this uh, includes uh, uh, Android ARM, uh, sorry ARM architecture, and and uh, other architecture that might have uh, the the Java runtime environment. Here we are just uh, creating the, the, the folder, which is quite simple. We definitely de uh, did not uh, try to comply with a Linux standard base and just recreated this uh, simple um, uh, root folder with that is slash RTR. And then here uh, you will download just the, uh, the RTR jar file. So you, you won't have to compile anything. So you, you just put it into this, uh, uh, everything into this folder. And I would say that um, this, the installation is done. 
so you uh, believe me or not, it's really simple. You have at least installed almost everything here. What, what is, um, what you can, uh, sorry, let me try to, to do things, something like that. So maybe it will be better for, to have this in, uh, in full screen uh, at the far. So once you have uh, done this installation, this is finished, you will need to, uh, you will need of course to the, the, the right uh, command, Linux command to launch the, pro, the, the, the router itself. But first you will have to, uh, to create two configuration files. And here you will, free router before running anything is using what we call a hardware configuration file. And it's also use a software configuration file. The software configuration file is super easy to understand if you come from the network world. It's uh, it, it's pretty much like the, the router configuration of a Junos or Cisco router. So you do a show run or a show BGP. So this is the the and the, you or the show startup, and you will see that uh, uh, it's the the, configura the configuration file. The hardware configuration file is a little bit more uh, tricky, but it's, it's a very interesting as it basically defined, uh, we call it hardware, but uh, uh, this is, I would say, maybe it's not um, a, a, a mistake. Uh, it's uh, essentially the, um, uh, the statement that will declare the structure of your virtual router. Of course, we, are, we won't describe a specific network card or, or with, with specific buffer and so on. But the, the, the idea of the hardware definition file is that it will define your, the, the, how, your, uh, how many interface your, uh, your router will have. You will see that uh, there are some keywords on, in, in it. And um, in the hardware file, for example, you will find what we call the socket, the interface definition using socket. And for today, it will, we will see this uh, only. And uh, I guess it will be a, 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 a very good start if you, if you, um, if you have never uh, ever run free router. So, so you have to know that we have this, we need these two files. So uh, the simplest form of the, the hardware definition file, for example, is uh, this one. What you can see here is that, uh, so this is the, here um, in, in this line, you will see the, the generic way to declare an interface for your router. But uh, here uh, I'm taking, uh, I'm considering a, a, a simple process, a routing process called the R1, and R1 has two interfaces, ETH1, of type ETH with a random MAC address, which has only uh, local significant, significance, sorry. And here, the pair of sockets. So the socket, this is one IP address, this is localhost with port 1001. And this interface here is connected. We can assume that it is connected to Another to another host using another socket. So this is uh, the same IP address, but a different port. And we are declaring a second interface that has a MAC address, a dummy MAC address again, uh, with uh, this uh, socket. So same IP. 1002 port, which is different. And ETH2 will be connected to another port or something will be connected to another object that is, that is, re, that is uh, listening, that it should listen at socket uh, 17001, which is also local host and, so, um, and uh, port 3002. So here, this is the minimum, uh, the, I would say the minimum uh, for uh, hardware file you can have for a router having two interfaces. 
Frederick, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Maybe you can zoom a bit on the on the text. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. This one. Yeah. Let me try to see if I can do this with uh, yes, like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Don't hesitate. Again, don't hesitate to to interrupt me if you have any any doubt question. So. But the, the, the thing is that um, this is quite important because here we are using a local host. But essentially, if, if for any reason you are on a different operating system, on a different host, it can be another IP address. The, the, the simple idea here is that uh, you should, the, the host should be able to reach uh, the other uh, host uh, using uh, the, um, I would say, the, the, the Linux networking stack. With, so, uh, with that binding, is that enough to also enable um, IPv6 addressing in the software configuration? Exactly, exactly. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, you, you, you can do it. Uh, this is a great question. Uh, maybe uh, we'll see that maybe Xaba can, uh, can answer it, but uh, I've never uh, uh, try to here to put uh, myself a uh, uh, column column one in order to have an ipv6 but i'm pretty sure that uh, knowing uh, xaba it should work uh, flawlessly but yes you're you're totally right essentially this is a it can be a, i would say I'm not sure if it is the right term but it's an ipv6 socket <laughs> thank you uh, david for for this uh, precision so let's see that uh, you have uh, you create a file called r1-swtxt and you put uh, this uh, information inside and now let's uh, create a software configuration file of course there is a n missing and uh, maybe i can note it so that i will, I will correct it uh, smoothly uh, quickly but here this is the router configuration file we are naming it the, the router is a textual file and if you if you look at it, it's like having um, a Cisco or a router. One thing that is important, this I would say that this is one of the minimal config you can have. Uh, you have to know that. So the first the first thing is that the router is called R1, hostname R1, and this is quite uh, this stanza is really important. I'm pretty sure you are all familiar with this uh, notion, but. Uh, uh, Everything in free router is a VRF aware, is in a VRF. So there is no notion of default VRF as, or global VRF or implicit VRF. Everything has to be inside the VRF. So you can have an unlimited amount of VRF. Okay. Uh, again, I'm talking under Xabas control here. Uh, so what is important is that if you're familiar, for example, with uh, Juniper, or you, you, usually what you want to have, uh, when you want to have uh, several BGP process, what you, what you are doing is that you are creating uh, logical routers. And each logical router can have their uh, own BGP process. In this situation with free router, you just don't care. You create a VRF, you create a BGP process, and then you bind this BGP process to a VRF. The, the, the consequence is that you can have 10 BGP uh, process in the same router acting uh, in a different way in the service provider world. And assuming that you, are, uh, you have uh, developed your interconnectivity between routers using uh, VLANs, what you can do is that you can bind every sub-interface to with a VRF and you can have an unlimited amount of, top, uh, of uh, topology, unlimited. Of course, it will depends on the, the topology you will have. Uh, but if you have two routers, it's quite limited. Um, but still, you can, even with two routers, you can uh, create an, an infinite amount of VRF and an infinite amount of BGP process, assuming that you, are, you have tied uh, this BGP process to a VRF. So this is the first, uh, well, I would say, one of the key one of the key uh, differentiator between uh, uh, with uh, compared to everything you would have known so far. I think it's really important and uh, 
some at the first at first sight it can be disturbing, but in 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 the long run it's a really powerful concept because everything can be sliced at the RF level. Here we are we have defined a basic uh, uh, telnet server, so where you can uh, telnet your uh, your your local process. And if you look at it, we are we, we this is uh, all the process you can you can see will be bound bound uh, bind to a VRF. Will be bind to to, the, to to a VRF. So we are declaring VRF v1, and we are declaring a server. But this server is uh, is for VRF v1. This is quite important because here we are also creating loopback interface. I think you already know, all, all know that. But also each interface, the first thing you have to do is to bind this interface to a VRF. So this is the loopback zero, this is a logical uh, interface. And here we, you see uh, the interface you have just created above in the hardware configuration file using so, uh, with socket localhost 1001. And here this is sufficient for you to create and uh, again, thank you, uh, David, for this uh, comment. You can here uh, uh, notice that you can activate uh, IPv4 address family and IPv6 address family seamlessly. You will see that we have a CDP available, but uh, just uh, to be uh, to push the standardization uh, mindset, we have LLDP, and we are doing the same for uh, ETH2 with LLDP. VRF V1, and that's it. So once you have these two configuration files, which is really not complex, actually, um, what you can do, which you have to do, is to run three router. And when you would like to, to run the, the, the router for the first time, it's a router process. Uh, and again, we today, um, we are just looking free router with the, uh, with cons with the, the perspective and considering as a router process only. But you will see in the long run that uh, this is really powerful in, in a sense that this is the, I would say the, the, the secret source that will uh, enable uh, enable the, the, the um, I would say the connection to the various data plane using this uh, socket, uh, this uh, socket uh, paradigm. And you will see that I think during the, 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 the next uh, session. So, um, so first, you would like to run. Uh, I was saying that as soon as you have uh, done wget on uh, rtr.jar, installation is finished, and this is totally true. Simply because when you will, you, if you want to run free router for the first time without any, um, uh, without any uh, alias and so on, you just have to run jar uh, Java. Uh, Java dash jar slash RTR slash RTR dash jar. This is where we downloaded the jar. And if you run free router without any parameter, you will, you will be granted with a lot of options. So uh, for example, um, router W will open a window. Router C will open a free router, a, a, a terminal window with a console. We'll see that later. Uh, CWU uh, will open the console in a window, a window and a console inside, and router uh, S will start the, 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 the router with a hardware a config and software configuration. We'll, uh, we'll leave further the, the, the rest for now. It's also possible to run specific command that, we, the, that would spawn a free router. The command is run and then it shut down free router. This is possible. Is it okay, Jordi, like that? <laughs> with the zoom. And then you, what you can do is that now, what we can do is to run free router with the above command with the router SC option. C, because I want a console, S with, uh, with uh, both of uh, the hardware file configuration file and the software configuration file. And then you will you will have start uh, you will you will have started your very first free router. So for today, I, I, what I propose is to to uh, to stick with this uh, simple uh, simple uh, tutorial uh, tutorial, and 
what you, what is important is that free router is a, a router process that is encapsulating that is able to speak protein protocol that is encapsulating uh, that is able to encapsulate packet and this encapsulation is done natively using UDP socket. It's not rocket science. A UDP socket is, of course, based on, uh, on UDP, and it's a couple of IPv4 or IPv6 plus the port. This is the, the Linux, the, 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 the basic socket, as, as, as you see. The, the configuration file, uh, free router has two configuration files, one hardware configuration and one software configuration. The software configuration is the router config, as you can see here, as you already all know. And the router here, it will define the number of uh, interface the router has and also how it is connected in terms of socket natively. In this example, ETH1 is at socket uh, localhost uh, 1001 uh, that is connected to something at socket 2001. ETH2 is at socket uh, 1002 and that is connected to something that is a local host at 3002. Uh, so just to give you an example, the, 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 the convention here, for now, it's connected to nowhere. Uh, it's, uh, it's an empty list. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's connected to, 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 uh, to nothing, except that you have to still define this circuit. The idea here, uh, the standard here is that uh, ETH1, uh, R1 ETH1, is uh, route is uh, has so has uh, an interface with socket uh, one zero zero one one being the router and one being the number of interface as it is eth one one thousand one is we can see that one thousand one is eth one for router one one uh, one thousand two is eth two for router one here two thousand one is eth one for router two. And here you will have ETH2 for router three. So uh, this is for the future, but uh, it's, uh, it's essentially for the next article. If you are in a hurry, I invite you to, to read it. But um, uh, in, 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 this, uh, in, this, uh, in this example, this is what I, I wanted to, uh, to, to, to show you. So now uh, let's uh, go to the, uh, sorry, let me try to find, uh, where are uh, here? Okay, so uh, maybe we can go back to the to here. So um, oh, it's not uh, it's a bit uh, tedious because uh, okay. So now I have started free router using this command. Yeah, and now uh, I will tell uh, I will uh, I will tell that on the router, and technically this will you will be granted with this window. Okay, so the config is not so um, simple here, simply because uh, we uh, this config reflect uh, reflect the ex uh, all the all the uh, the getting started page till IBGP. So. Is it, this uh, this will uh, if you so this is why it is a little bit complex. We are running uh, v4 and v6 stack uh, with uh, IBGP session with uh, a lot of other mini. So, but uh, this is what it's uh, it's a little bit more complex. But in the end, it's uh, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's it's really what we uh, showed you. We have r one got txt. Okay, there are two more keywords, but uh, you will see that you will see um, TCP to VRF twenty three twenty one is simply um, the port that is where the, the server telnet is listening outside free router, and and we are when we are telneting twenty three twenty one. Here, we are entering in VRF v one in in port twenty three uh, in the free router namespace. And if you look at it, uh, we have server telnet uh, v1 
uh, and uh, that is bound to VRF V1. If I would have, if I have put here uh, another VRF, for example, internet or v V2, and keep this uh, command here at V1, it would it won't work. It won't work. Okay, so this is quite uh, important. Uh, but coming back to the hardware, so here you will see the first interface I, I, I added. This one, uh, this one is related to uh, um, to uh, this article unleash free router. But we, so I invite you to to read it. But uh, it will be the the object of the next uh, of the next session we can have all together. Uh, so I can explain to you how Ethernet free can be an inter, uh, a free router interface listening at a specific pocket can be bind to uh, a, a real Linux interface in order to get outside the process. I mean, so uh, this basically this ETH free will be visible from your local area network or from the network. So I think this is pretty much it for, for today. Uh, maybe what I can do is, um, is um, leave the floor to, uh, to Xaba. Xaba, any, anything you would like to, uh, to add or uh, complement or correct, of course? No, not too much. OK. So this is, uh, this is the, 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 the first. Um, the, the 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 first session I wanted to to show. Do you have so far any question? Just I one see. on yeah. the security of the system. Are there any um, considerations to securing the the Linux system underneath, or anything that has to be left open for the free router process to to run on top? Saba, would you like to, to answer? This is a mm. question that... Uh... Okay. So basically, <clears throat> when you install FreeRutter, it takes off all the interfaces and removes all the IP stack from the Linux. Um, in other words, uh, FreeRutter hides the, the Linux IP stack from the outside world on the interfaces it talks. So basically, you, you don't have to deal at all with, with Linux uh, with securing Linux uh, access, because uh, then it, when it uh, takes over the interfaces uh, from that point, uh, uh, Linux, uh, for example, in the DPDK case, Linux don't have the interface uh, in, in its interface list. So it cannot uh, get pockets or send pockets uh, on, on the interfaces. That's great, thank you. Uh. I, I can I am I can't show you uh, this right now uh, because uh, it will uh, it will uh, the break decision I have to 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 leave my VPN but uh, actually uh, what uh, in order to complement uh, uh, Xaba's answer in this session we have just seen free router as a routing a router process running on a Linux host okay. I invite you to run to 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 explore the second uh, topology, uh, the second page, which is a topology example, where you will be able to run one the four processes and interconnect them using um, uh, using uh, the Linux socket using the 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 the, the schema I, I just explained. And um, but keep in mind that in the real in the real world, uh, what you can do is uh, that um, you can have uh, uh, you can have free router taking control of every uh, every um, every interface of the host so here the, the, the example is shown using uh, a virtual machine but let me show you um, for example uh, um, uh, this uh, this example yeah, actually, uh, if I may jump in uh, as, yes. as, uh, as a user of, of, of the DPK version, uh, it's it's quite, uh, it takes you some, some time to realize. Uh, basically, your Linux, uh, when you want to update, let's say, the packages from Linux, you do it through free router already. So you, <laughs> you're going through it uh, through, a, through a tunnel, uh, which is inside the, the machine. So it's 
in that case, uh, uh, it, it, that's something you need to spec or let's say to, to have in mind because you are not going to get access directly to the machine unless you reserve some, some uh, interface for that. In that case, yes, you need to, of course, uh, securize or, or uh, uh, protect the Linux uh, better. Yeah. That's really useful, cool. thank you. Um, when you come to what well, the example that we had today showed the creation of a um, the software configuration file it, when you're using pre router is is it similar to Cisco or Juniper whereby you can edit the configuration as the process runs or do you have to rewrite that configuration file and restart the process each time? I think you can you can answer. No uh, so it's much like uh, this, the Cisco and Juniper uh, um, workflow that is you log into your router and uh, add uh, the configuration stanzas online. And um, <clears throat> when you hit an enter on the line, it, it uh, applies immediately. Uh, so, it, uh, so you don't have to deal at all with the startup configuration. Only, only, uh, only thing you need to care is uh, when when you are uh, satisfied with your current configuration and uh, the pockets uh, flowing on the right way. Then you have to write the configuration in case of power loss. Then it will restore to the startup configuration. Thank you. So, for example, um, David. Uh, I have uh, on the right here. You see, this is a this is a web a web uh, fourteen forty five. This is a um, this is a, 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 an appliance from uh, from Dell. And uh, what you can see here is that this is a Linux host with two ten gig port and six gig port. Sorry, maybe it's a little bit small. So, uh, so this has two 10 gig port and six gig port. And here, this is the same, this is the web with free router with DPDK. So everything has been activated here using DPDK. So we can easily reach uh, 20 gig uh, in and out uh, from it. But uh, this is the workflow, uh, the workflow we can, uh, we can configure. Here you see that uh, I just modified the, the the host name, and instantly it it it, it appeared. Uh, it it has changed. But here we are. This is the running config. Okay. So this uh, this interface is running DPDK. We will see that later in subsequent session. Otherwise, uh, it can be really really um, uh, more complex, and uh, sometimes it's it's, it's tricky. So, uh, but if you look at it, we, this, is, this reflects all the interfaces that we have here. We have eight interfaces, uh, 2D, and, and uh, all of these are, are, are configured using um, DPDK. Of course, we have IPv4 and IPv6, and this is following the same, uh, I would say, Cisco work, workflow you are, uh, you are familiar with. However, you, you notice that I modified the configuration, but I, I did not uh, say. So when I, 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 I launched this command, show config difference, you see that, um, you see that uh, um, the, 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 the router is, is mentioned, is, uh, when I will write, it will create the, the it will change the host name daily. And that's it. However, if for any reason I'm not satisfied, I will do a config revert, and then I'm reverting back to the host name. So of course it's the host name now, but if for any reason, let me, break, uh, should, let me try to do something, for example, or show run, I think um, maybe I put OSPF. Imagine, uh, uh, imagine, I destroy OSPF and this is an error. Show config difference. You will see that uh, by deleting OSPF, I had also developed 
OSPF, that, uh, all the interface that was participating at OSPF level. So, of course, I will, uh, I will revert it, config revert. And then everything is back to, uh, to normal. So this is when uh, uh, this is a uh, this is a, 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 a tricky command. For example, here uh, you do a, a sh show run, and you want to do to to look at a specific section an object that you know that it's called OSPF. You you click on it, and you see that by by putting show run OSPF, you have the OSPF object appearing. It can be your v6. For example, I would like to know the loopback zero uh, stanza. I would put CK zero. It's a simply regular expression. And automatically it has detected that uh, the, 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 the section related to the loopback. You see, this is a tricky uh, stuff, but uh, I, I really uh, like it. But because if you want to know, for example, you would like to know if BGP is activated, there is no BGP. But if you want to look a specific interface, show SDN8, you can have it. So this is, um, I would say for now, this is uh, what I, I wanted to share uh, with you to, uh, today. And um, next session would be to, to talk about the, the topology, uh, the topology example, and we'll go deeper and deeper into the the, the example and, um, and and do more complex uh, and and. At some point, we will be able to even get deep dive into the free router source code if you if you are willing to do it. Yeah, I, I just uh, wanted to highlight in, in line with the, the question from David, the, the things when you write the, the, the configuration, I mean, the good thing in, in this approach is basically that the configuration goes to a file in the, in the Linux system. So basically, you can back up it any way you want. And actually, Saba may, may just give more information about that, but he has already implemented a way so that uh, when you just uh, uh, write, you just write also in, in a remote uh, uh, position. So basically, you can automatically save your changes, let's say, uh, in a version controlled way. So, I mean, it's something, it's already there. Okay. <clears throat> just to finish my example here, uh, uh, I can. Um, you, you, when you, you will do the native installation uh, that is uh, reflected in the documentation, here from pre router, I'm good go, I'm getting inside the Linux. Okay, now I'm not Linux. Okay, let, let, let's do it again. I am on pre router, sure. But now I want to go inside the Linux, I have a, 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 a shortcut. We'll see that later. But if you look at it, now I am the Linux. And if I'm looking at this interface here as this file, this is the interface, the textual, this is the textual uh, form of the configuration. So each time you are doing a write, you are doing a write configuration in this file. This is the software configuration file. Okay. And of course, you will see the hardware file, but this one is a little bit more complex as we, we could see because this one has DPDK activating every interface and have a specific uh, uh, CPU core allocation to specific interface. But we'll see again uh, this later. I don't want to, 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 to complicate things. Sorry, Xava, please go ahead. Not too much from my side. I think ah. uh, sooner or later we should uh, terminate the VC because we have four minutes. Yeah, 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 sure. So anyway, uh, thank you for for uh, for being here. Uh, any any more question? We 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 have three minutes left, so that's that's great. No. Any remark, Jordi, Saba? So, um, yep. No, well, I think from my side, any, any, any question you want to have about a daily usage, just uh, uh, do it. you can do it now on the next session or via email, no worries. We can, yes, we can uh, keep on, keep on uh, uh, discussing uh, over topic uh, using uh, this the, with the next session. 
But first, uh, this is the very first introduction of FreeRouter. Again, FreeRouter is a user space router for OS process that encapsulate packet natively using UDP socket. It has two uh, configuration files, hardware configuration file, software configuration file. Software configuration is where uh, the, the router configuration we say, and this is super, if you are very super familiar with uh, Cisco, uh, you will be, uh, you will feel at home. The hardware configuration file will, dis will define the list of interface for the router using socket uh, definition and uh, when you would uh, when you want to interconnect more router pro os process you define this interconnection in the hardware file uh, using different socket on the same host usually it can be on different hosts as soon as the host can reach the other uh, using i would say the, the but again this uh, the linux is still uh, kept here for for demo it, this, is, this is not the key strength. The idea, as uh, Xabaz mentioned, is that FreeRouter will take over the whole box and will manage everything. So everything that relates to security can be protected as, a, as, as if you were on a router. The interface can have an access list. It can have a, a root policy, uh, an, an RPL. Everything can be done here. It's, um, and you will have a very, uh, you will be surprised by, by uh, all the, um, very uh, interesting feature like uh, TCP intercept uh, and also uh, and also RPL. TCP intercept, for example, if you want to connect free router on the, in the wild internet, can can transform your your router as um, as a, not a, as a, as a routing element that is that is uh, analyzing everything that can authorize only uh, egressing traffic and denying e all the in ingress traffic. We see that uh, in a, in the different in the subsequent phase. Anyway, thank you for being here. Uh, I guess we can close this for the, for the first session. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.